It's quite common that a company or business will use a platform like HoneyBook to manage their contracts, invoices, and proposals, then use a separate platform like ClickUp for their project management. So in this video, we're going to look at how you can glue HoneyBook and ClickUp together to automate repetitive tasks in both HoneyBook and ClickUp. Hi there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies like yours get automated with portals, apps, and integrations. In today's video, we'll cover how to connect HoneyBook and ClickUp to automate repetitive tasks. Firstly, we'll look at creating a project or task in ClickUp when a client finishes onboarding in HoneyBook. Then we're going to look at how you can send an invoice or at least create one in HoneyBook when a ClickUp task is ready to begin or has finished. This same process is possible with Dubsado. So if you are using that platform, make sure to check out the video linked in the top right corner of this video. If you haven't come across HoneyBook yet, it is an all-in-one client management tool specifically built for service-based businesses, consultants, and freelancers. It's designed to simplify your admin work by bringing invoices, contracts, and communications in one place. When paired with ClickUp for internal project management, you can create a powerful system that covers both client and team workflows. ClickUp handles project timelines, team tasks, and organization, while HoneyBook focuses on client management, ensuring all admin tasks and client communications are consistent and seamless. To make this integration happen, we'll be using Zapier. However, this same automated workflow is possible using Make.com, Pipedream, and other automation tools. Here we are in the Zapier dashboard. This is where we can create our automated workflows or our Zaps. So we're going to create a new Zap. Now, if you don't have a Zapier account, do sign up for one, it's completely free. And you can actually have one of these automated workflows running on the free plan. It just depends how many clients and data you want to use. So here we are in the editor, the Zap editor where we create our automated workflow. We can lean on Zapier's Copilot to quickly create a Zap or an automated workflow for us, then we just need to plug in our connected account. So let's see what we can do. Create a ClickUp project when a HoneyBook client finishes onboarding. And then we'll see that it's working its magic over there. Now, you could approach this two ways. You could lean on Copilot to quickly create a templatized automated workflow or use your own trigger event and actions. Now, within any automated workflow, there needs to be a trigger event telling our system, hey, this is what causes the automated workflow to launch. For our example, it's going to be when a HoneyBook client finishes their onboarding. So we can see that we've got here, client created in HoneyBook, create task in ClickUp. But we're just gonna close this and have a look at creating it from scratch. So I'm just gonna close Copilot. What you would do there is you would just bring in all the steps and then plug in your accounts. So firstly, let's start with the trigger event. We'll need to connect our HoneyBook account because it'll be when a client finishes onboarding in HoneyBook. So here we go, we've got HoneyBook, the app, the trigger event. Now we'll need to actually first connect our account. So select sign in and for HoneyBook, we'll need to collect something called an API key. Basically, this tells Zapier, hey, you have authorization to connect and see our data, update our data in HoneyBook. So all you'll need to do is just select here and this will take you directly to your HoneyBook account and your business settings actually. You'll want to select company and then on the left side panel integrations and we'll see Zapier down here. Now, you'll also notice there are a few other native integrations or automations available in HoneyBook. None of these directly relate to what we want to achieve so we'll have to use an automation tool like Zapier, Make, Pipedream, but we're just gonna go with Zapier for this video example. So you want to copy that API key, jump back into the connection, paste it there, and yes, continue to HoneyBook. So then we'll need to authorize the connection. Next, the trigger event. What launches our automated workflow? So we're going to select that when a client is created. So we'll select that. We could also set up an automated workflow for when a new inquiry is created, someone reaches out to us, a payment has been paid. So let's think when a project proposal has been accepted, agreed, we've sent the invoice, the payment has been paid. Next, we want to action our ClickUp project and even a new project is booked. But let's just go simply with client created. So here we have our trigger event. So we'll want to test this 
and see what data we have pulled through. Here we've got some sample record here. Name, Jasper Thompson, address, we haven't included, phone number and email. So now we can continue with the automated workflow, merging our data from HoneyBook over to our next step, our next action, which will be creating a task in ClickUp. So we'll select ClickUp there. You'll need to connect your account. Now this is a much simpler connection than HoneyBook. You won't need to provide your API key so you can quickly do that and then follow along. The action event. Well, let's see what we have available. We can create fields, folders, lists. Now I want to create a new project for my client. So rather than create a task specifically, let's create a list. If we just quickly jump into ClickUp, we'll see we've got projects here. And I've actually created a specific project for a specific client. Within that, we've got campaign planning, content creation, digital marketing setup, influencer. Now, having a list allows me to break up the project into more actionable items. From those actionable items, we then can also create subtasks. So campaign planning and strategy, we could include get the deliverables ready, um, meeting on date expected, and so on and so forth. But it's great that we can have our projects broken up into client-specific projects, and then from there, break down the task or the project further. So we'll quickly create a list, and what we want to do is configure that list. So the workspace we want this to be in will be our my company. The space, this will be projects. We're going to select no folder, then the list name, now, something interesting that we can use, and I have touched on in previous videos, is that we can actually create a template of our tasks for these specific projects. I'll just quickly show you what I mean. We'll jump back into ClickUp, and we're going to select the campaign planning and strategy task. Then in the top right, we'll select this menu, and we'll notice templates. So if we select this and browse templates, what you can do is you can create templatized lists, tasks, folders, and so on, so that each time a new folder list or task is generated for a client, all that same info is included. But we'll continue on. So we've got the list here. We're not gonna use a template, but we do need a list name. So this will be the client name. So we're gonna select this icon to pull in data from our HoneyBook sample data. This will be how we merge our data from HoneyBook over to ClickUp. So we're going to select here the first name, which is the company name sample, and the last name, we'll just say Jasper Thompson. So for this example, we're just gonna select that last name there that we see Jasper Thompson, but pull in your company name, or you can also manually type and include there. But you will want to use dynamic data from HoneyBook so that it changes for each individual client. Then we've got list info, we'll leave that as it is, priority and due date. You can include whatever you like, but I'm gonna leave these blank for now. So we've looked at how easy it is. Then all we need to do is test this step. So we'll select test step. And then if we jump over to ClickUp, we see that we've got now Jasper Thompson project. Now, that was a super simple and quick one. What else can we do? Well, how about also notifying our team? We can also add a step to notify our team in ClickUp or through Slack or other channels. However, don't forget that you do have specific native integrations. If I just quickly jump into the automations and integrations here using email. And I do believe, yes, you've also got the ability to use Slack. So do remember that you have those because if you do create a Zap, you will have to pay depending on how many steps, how much data is included. Okay, so we've looked at creating a task in ClickUp but what about actually actioning something in HoneyBook? All right, so let's just quickly jump back here. Now, once you're finished with your automated workflow, I'm just going to delete that, you'll want to publish it here. And waiting for that to publish. Now that has been activated. So each time a client is created in HoneyBook, then a new task or a new list is created in ClickUp. Now within HoneyBook, an invoice is directly connected to a project. So for us to create this invoice, we actually first need to create the project. Let's have a look. We'll jump back into Zapier 
and we could lean on Copilot or we could start from scratch. We've already looked at creating an automated workflow from scratch. You need that trigger event, you search for your app, you select the trigger event and you connect your account. So let's try and lean on Copilot this time. So when a task in ClickUp is finished, let's say completed, then create a honey book project. And we'll see again, it's working its magic there for us, suggesting an outline for our zap. We've got click up new task, honey book, create project. So let's add these steps. And then from here, it's just a simple plug and play. You just need to connect your account, connect the right task um, and so on. Now, firstly, we notice that it's a new task. We don't want that. So let's change the trigger event and we'll search for task changes, then continue. We'll need to select the workspace, my company. Then we need to select the space, which is projects we'll go with. We'll select no folder. And we could select a list, but we don't want to. We want this to be automated for all of our clients. If we were to select a specific list, then it would only work for that specific list. We don't want this to include subtasks, only for parent tasks. Um, and then we can select the task status, but we'll go status type and we're gonna select that when this is closed or completed. Then we'll want to test that and pull in some data to play with. Then we'll move on to the next step, which is HoneyBook create a project. So you'll want to select your account and we'll continue. And then we'll need to merge over the data from the ClickUp task to our new HoneyBook project, which will include payment. And then we'll be able to jump into HoneyBook and quickly send off an invoice. So client full name, we're going to use, I think we've got a, let's use the search function to speed things up. We've got task custom field, client email, client name. Let's just pull this out and then we'll be able to see. So if you're ever unsure of perhaps you're seeing double, refer to the grayed out value. That'll be what value is actually being pulled through. So we can see here it's saying client email. We don't want that one. The client name, we don't want that one. We want this one, Jasper Thompson. The task custom field client name value. Notice that this is the client name name. So this is pulling through the actual name of the field, whereas this is pulling through the dynamic value. So that's the one we want. So be wary of that email. Um, again, ensure that we are selecting the right one. Client email value, phone number. We didn't have anything for that. Project type, um, I think we'll be using deliverable, task deliverable value. This isn't pulled through one. Perhaps I don't have one, um, but it's the deliverable value. The project date, that's an easy one. Um, for this particular example, it was the kickoff date. So we want to say the kickoff date rather than the due date, kickoff date value. Project details can leave blank. And then we also have a budget, the field budget value, which we can select and pull in, which is super important because it will directly relate to our invoice. So continue, and then we can test our step. So we'll test that bad boy. And then we can see client name, Jasper Thompson, client email has been darted out. Let's jump into HoneyBook. Let's go to our projects and let's see what's happened here. Boom, we can see Jasper Thompson's project, Jasper Thompson, other, the date, any tags, if we jump into it, we'll then directly see the ability to create an invoice if we select payments and create an invoice here. You can take this further like we previously mentioned and add other steps to your zap. Perhaps you want other things to occur in HoneyBook or ClickUp or maybe you want to use Gmail to update your team. The possibilities are quite endless. Now, if you need help automating parts of your business, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com. Our team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation, so book yours today.